Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. How are you? It is your January 2019. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you know what that channel is, okay? <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let me get um, from my glamour box over here. If you have, if you don't know yet, there's gonna be a, a, a an intro for the glamour box. Like more, um, it's gonna talk more about it. Uh, it's a big project, so it takes time. It takes a little bit slow, okay? You know what I mean, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, this is your January 2019 amethyst in adventuring. Um, I feel like this is um, manifesting what you have always been wanted in your life and there was a temperance in your pre-shuffle okay so you're working things out with someone and it's so it shall be done okay Sag would be um, if it's a temperance because um, you have Scorpio that's gonna be in your eighth house I feel like it's a very soulful um, um, intimate oh that is very good that is very good to have your eighth house as Sag it really taps into that um, you know, being intimate and soulful connection. That's amazing. Okay. Sun, Moon, Racing, Venus, and Jupiter. We're doing a bunch of stuff. Okay. So we have, um, oh, Four of Diamonds. Okay. So it's speaking out right away. Relationship. That's equivalent for me to the Four of Wands. Okay. Bunch of stuff. We have um, Intuitive with the Quartz. We have Cartomancy. We have the one, you know. I also touched the tree here. Let me see the presence of the tree. Mm, the tree says abundance. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you guys are liars. The Christmas tree says, yeah, I'm making an entrance. Move out of the way, bamboo tree. <laughs> here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 2019. January. The chariot. Ooh, travel. You're going to meet someone. Can see an energy. Okay, so this is going to be in your third house. You could be traveling towards your siblings. Okay. Gemini is totally, uh, uh, Gemini is totally direct. You could be probably connecting with a Gemini and they're going to be direct. Uh, Mercury is already direct over here. Don't wait for March to travel. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Um, you have here um, moving towards a good relationship, following your guides, your intuition. I feel here you understand now, you know, the duality of the person. You are connecting with someone who's bipolar, can be. No tea, no shade on that one. Not that they're really clinically a bipolar. I just feel like they have mood swings, okay? Because the concern is ruled by the moon. Imagine being ruled by the moon. How many faces does it go? Okay, it was a shame to, you know, to meeting Jekyll and Hyde or the Hulk. You know, put that in all two combination, you also get a Gemini. Okay, a Gemini Cancerian, dear Lord. Okay. You don't know who they are the next day. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. No tea, no shade. We love them. They're cute. Okay. Oh, Hangman. Okay. So this person, um, I feel like... Um, they like you for make um, either you or this person likes you for who you are. I'm not sure why. It's almost like for them they love the challenge. The challenge is amazing. They say over here, interesting, coming to 2019 that someone loves a challenging relationship. But I feel also the delay is over. Something good is coming. Whoever is feeling stuck, they're not stuck anymore. Okay. Now there's a lot of um, energy also intimate energy. I'm not sure where Mars is at this time, because again. Okay, I see the B-U-L-G-E, okay? You're an adult, deal with it, okay? So, Aries got someone well endowed, and you guys are getting someone, okay, also, okay? Ay, 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 okay? Some are also, I want to step away, but they want to do it, you know, as a backseat passenger. Not sure what that means. You probably did something in the car. No tea, no shade. We all have a fix, okay? It ain't, okay? It ain't Titanic. Don't remake the whole shh. Okay, okay, please. But I see it here, okay? You're probably, just saying, you're probably observing them in the car. You guys are riding. No tea, no shade in the riding. <laughs> but you look at them, okay? You look at them from the seat, and then you saw it, okay? And you say, wow. Oh, let's move along, people. Seven of Pentacles, you feel like you've been waiting for this wow factor. I'm not sure how horny you are, Taurus, but dear Lord, your seventh house is so active, okay? You sh it should focus on your eighth. Go to your spiritual journey. <laughs> your ninth, sorry. <laughs> 
Um, I feel here that you've been waiting to travel to see this person or this person has been very patient about waiting for you. And this is for Vaashada. Um, you're going to be making a decision in this time of the year as Saturn steps into stage for Vaashada until December. So it's a year for you to make a decision about love. Do you move towards a relationship? I feel like you relocate and then the relationship happens. The strength card. Mm -hmm. Why do I... If you're a minor, please unsubscribe and then just subscribe later on. Because the strength card here with the BULG, okay? I'll just put it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You see that well-endowed person and the other person says, says ah. Taurus, dear lord, okay. It's, a, it's the strength card. And it's just saying, open your mouth. I swear, guys. It's like, this is a channel of healing and path. We don't need that here. Okay. <laughs> I want to take it lightly, but the, but the person says, says ah. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. Let's put more crystal into that one. Let's give it an abundance crystal. Change that to fortune. Okay. So strength card, the, the, the delay is over. Both of you are moving on. See, this is how much uh, obstruction that I need to... <laughs> Um, uh, I feel like they're courageous, they're bold, they're, they're saying it's just like they're a performer. Mm -hmm. okay. Adventurous, oh, dear lord, okay. Adventurous in all different ways and different facets. Okay, I don't normally see this, but the Aries started it, okay? Expect that from an Aries, that's what I say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move along, people. Delay is over. Be encouraged to commit this person. They've enlightened. Let number eight. So they want, um, they've never felt um, the most amazing intimate connection that is soulful. They've never done that. They experienced it with you if you were. If you haven't, I do suggest experience it. Just saying. Okay, six of swords. So, someone here is creeping their way in. Okay, this is a moon card for me. So, it can be a moon in Taurus um, or someone, because this is double moon now. So, you could probably have a moon conjunct something, moon, whatever. Okay, um, but this is an energy right now where things are slowly moving and things are slowly working out because you were patient. Okay, let me see the other person. Oh <sighs> my god, Lee. Okay, death card. See, this is a Scorpio energy, so they're very intimate, okay? And it's your seventh house, Taurus, okay? I feel like there is some sort of dominancy, okay? They like to, either you want to be dominated, there's a domination part over here. Because the death card here, I mean, they, they like to change, switch things up a bit, you know? One thing you're there, the next thing you're there, the next thing you're up, you're down, you don't even know where it is. The Lord, okay. <laughs> so the death card is transformation. Also, um, this is someone who is um, can be obsessed right now. I feel like you're get you're big. You will be more obsessed with this person. You have the tendency. You never see it coming, but this person, you will all of a sudden magnetic towards this person. Let me see. Let's add some more pizzazz. Okay, this is like your pepperoni. We don't eat meat. Okay, you no judgment. But this is like your extra cheese. Extra cheese in the nine of diamonds, okay? You are a self-proclaimed success, okay? You think that you're doing well. Awesome job, okay? You acknowledge yourself. Meaning you look in the mirror and then you look at yourself and it's like, yeah, I did good in 2018. I'm welcoming 2019. The other person is a tree of clubs. They like to do things um, at the dark, okay? I'm not sure what that means. Um, they like to do things um, that is unconventional. That's why the the um, how to say this the the her, the I get distracted with the energy of the intimacy. Um, they like oh really? That is the unconventional. That's what you're telling me. So you know how the symbol of the Cancerian is like this. So you already know that Taurus. We're all adults. That's why they say the hangman is here. They enjoy that. Okay. Fine, you enjoy that, they enjoy that, okay. But the Three of Clubs energy here is because they you bring out their you bring out those things in them and then vice versa. Where do we get the reading? I don't know, because it's supposed to be love. But since this is your seventh house, you're gonna be coupled with this person. It takes one intimate, passionate, soulful connection and it seals the deal. 
That's how I feel. This is one of those things that they understand I have a deep connection. Okay. Cleanse your thought, Taurus. That's what I'd say. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We're going to continue this reading. And soon we'll have this on a, on a very exclusive website. Because this is not tarot. <laughs> okay. It's almost like you have to have a disclaimer. So very passionate person. Um, your seventh house, they will explain themselves. They want you. Strength card with the death card. They're going to be bold and express themselves. And you're going to be on the same boat. Six of Swords. This leads to a commitment. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. January 2019. Everything down there in the description box should you need anything. Um, anything that you need is right there. Um, the 2019 prediction for the whole year. You can get it there also. Releases January. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, Taurus.